about the U.N. and human okay. rights. Could you speak a little louder? We can't hear you, but Detroit has sparked something about water being a human right in the United Nations. That's all good. But in the city of Flint, I always look at Flint as a leader. Right. He was the leader in the sit-down strike. We had the highest income per capita until General Motors left out. What they have done with water rates, in my opinion, they're trying to get money off of the few that's left. That's right. right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That is wrong. Yeah. I've seen the two-year budget. It was a two-year budget that we just did, 2015, 2016. I've seen a way to lower water rates. Ain't that Flint water worse than the lake water? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ain't it bad? Yeah. The quality of water is bad. When we, was getting that, when we was getting the water from Detroit, let's just do an analysis. That good lake water was costing us about a dollar a gallon. Now with the Flint River water, we one? mix chlorine, it costs about 40 cents or so a gallon. So they could have passed that savings on to us. That's right. right. While they give us That's a right. substandard water. Right. But what they chose to do is what the corporations do. They got a little free. That's right. They said rather than pass the savings on to the resident, right. they're going to save it and fix pipes underground over a five-year period. I said that we could fix it over a 10-year period and, and pass 30% of the savings on. Right. Then they sold a pipeline for $3.9 and they got three. They kept all that money and moved it somewhere else. Where did they move? They, they moved it to say they was going to fix pipes underground. See, everything is not to fix the water rate. That's right but to do whatever they want to do. That's right! What happened at Sussex Apartments on Pearson Road in my ward tells me something. That's right. You got Sussex now called Glen Acres. So when you hear the term Glen Acres, that's really Sussex. When they shut the water off, they then gave them a 24-hour notice to vacate the premise. That's very important to understand because if they shut your water off, or your neighbor's wide off, or your kids wide off, they can put on your house 24 hours to vacate the front. Now, can we stand for that? No! Do you know where them rules come from that allows them to put them postings up? When? The city council makes them rules. Them rules been on the books for years. Mm -hmm. And so now we're asking for a special meeting of the city council change. to change those rules. It has to be done. We don't want people to be put out of their house when they want to get cut off. The city council could say, give them 15 to 30 days to get it cut back on. So we can change our route. Now, don't y'all get mad at me, but did you know that, did you know that the city council had a chance to lower water rates? And so the city council must be told to do a job. Now, I'm going to tell you, some people get very nervous when I say the city council voted 7 to 0 to increase rates when we holler to lower rates. Well, let me say this. The emergency manager might have raised them rates back up. Had we lowered them, he might have raised them back up, but we had a duty to lower them. See, some council people voted to increase their wages of the council and the mayor and increase water rates. I couldn't be a part of that. Some council people was told by the emergency manager and other colleagues that if you vote on this, you'll get another chance to vote to lower them. That was a lie. Let me close by saying this. How do you fix water rates right now? It's one way to fix water rates right now that we got control of as council and as people. The council should be demanding a special meeting on water. That's right. That's right. Now, we demanded a special meeting on the Blue Ribbon Committee, and guess what was in my mailbox today? The emergency manager said, I'm not going to let y'all have a special meeting. Why not? He said, no special meeting on the Blue Ribbon Committee. And so that tells you no special meeting on water. If you really want to change something, listen to it. Shame, 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 shame.
if you really want to change something, we got to now attack the emergency manager. This is how you attack the emergency manager. Before we get to November, guess what Public Act 436 says? Public Act 436, the emergency manager law, say that the city council with six votes and the mayor can vote the emergency manager out. When you vote the emergency manager out under their own law, then you can go a wild right now, guess who, guess who is the whole him out? Guess who is the whole him out? Guess who is the whole Guess who is the Guess who is the hold up on six votes in the mix? You got six council members ready to vote him out. That's right, what we're going to do it. But guess what the mayor said? What's that? The mayor said, let's wait and see what happens. <laughs> And I won't wait to see what happened in November because by the time we get to November, people could be put out of their houses. That's right. Stuff might not be done right. Man, he's gonna be put out of his house. I'm gonna say this. Just for the record, you know how long my water been off at 125 East Russell, and I'm a council person. Over five, six, seven months. Oh, Listen to me. So when you think that some of us ain't fighting for the least of them, we get 216 every two weeks. We get 316 now with the increase. My water been off. That's what I told them last week. Come put me out my house. So I don't want y'all to trip off. I don't want y'all to think that y'all got elected officials, big time elected officials who not fighting with y'all. I'm fighting for you because my water been on. And I go over mother's house and do what I can and everybody else's house. So, so, no, don't give me a hand. Yet. I'm going to shut up and I'm going to get out the way because I'm trying to give some out. So what I'm going to do is this. Everywhere I go, whether it's just Paris, Court. That's why I wasn't marching with y'all. I was in court fighting for myself, by myself. Hey. Now I'm winning that. I get in council meetings, they want me to shut up. I get here, they want me to shut up, and I'm trying to be polite. You cannot shut up. You cannot let people shut you up. And education and knowledge is the key. So now I'll back up, but everywhere I go, they want me to shut up. Don't worry about it.